COVID-19 vaccines are safe and they work. They've been through really rigorous uh, clinical trials. The safety profile for the vaccines is no different based on age, gender, race, ethnicity, or if you have certain co common comorbidities like obesity or diabetes or lung disease. And it looks like the vaccine is equally safe across these populations. We have two vaccines that are going to be available to us immediately. One produced by Pfizer, one produced by Moderna. Both show about equal efficacy of around 95%. The way we know that any medication works is by doing rigorous, randomized, controlled clinical trials. And that's what the all COVID vaccines are going through. The COVID-19 vaccines are really critical to prevent infection amongst people. So that's protecting yourself, but then also to try and reduce community spread, so protecting your neighbors. And that's really critical to reopening the economy, getting businesses going, and reopening schools. The vaccine, I think, is really critical for our communities of color, and I understand that there's hesitancy and potential distrust in the process. But the clinical trials that were done by the companies um, included a large number of individuals from a really varied background. And this was done specifically to try and address some of these concerns and history of not including communities of color in, in research. And I think that what they've done is by creating a very diverse population in our clinical trials. We can speak very specifically about the safety in these different populations. So specifically for communities of color, there is evidence that the, that the vaccine is just as safe and just as effective as it is for everybody else. In about a third of people who get the vaccine, you'll experience a reaction. And that's because the vaccine is doing what we want it to do produce an immune response. You may have arm soreness. You may even have fever. You may feel like you have a headache. Uh, you may, your muscles may ache. It may mimic a mild form of COVID-19 or the flu. It's an inflammatory uh, side effect that just reflects the vaccine is working. So just because the side effects are similar to the illness does not mean you're gonna get COVID from the vaccine. It is actually impossible. It's better to schedule the vaccine uh, before a day off or when you don't have a lot of plans the next day because you may feel some side effects from it and you'll want to have some time to recover from that. So anybody that's had kind of itching with penicillin or a sulfa drug or has a food allergy to eggs or something should feel um, safe uh, to get the vaccine. But what we do know is everybody needs to be monitored after they get the vaccine for a certain amount of time. And people that have had a serious allergic reaction to say a food uh, may wanna be monitored for a little bit longer. Well, once you get the vaccine, we still have to wear our masks. We still have to be mindful of social distancing until we can ensure that the community has herd immunity and that this virus isn't circulating anymore. One day, we will be able to get back to normal, but it won't be immediate. So I see this as the final tool in our toolbox. We have masking, we have social distancing, and now we have a vaccine. I see a way out of this pandemic. I think the vaccines are a home run.